Howdy. You know, you figure right after a guy makes a video about him doing too much that he'd stop doing so much, but right now Zeus and I are actually on our way to Ruby Falls. Um, where we're going to meet up some friends who happen to be getting married. And uh, yours truly is actually doing the officiating, so it's really important that I'm there. We got Mr. Zeus right beside us. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie, these last few months, I've been off and I haven't been in front of my camera. And uh, I've put on some weight. And as you can see, I've also chipped a tooth. So I'm, I'm a mess. But, uh, Welcome to Blind Man Outdoors. I'm Dave, and I've been exploring my whole life, from my hometown in the Blind Man River Valley to the jungles of South America. Four years ago, I left an old life behind to chase a passion full time. Now, I built Canada's Yucapac Camper and the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo, all while continuing to explore and experience the great outdoors. You see, I believe we're called to live free and be wild. And if you do too, then this is the place for you. It's uh, 7.40, so it's late. It's three hours to Ruby Falls, uh, or sorry, to the trailhead. Linden is also out camping out west. So we're just gonna see how far we can get tonight. And uh, if we can't get where we wanna be, then we'll just pull out and camp, make us a tea, and uh, watch a movie. But uh, yeah, we're on our way out to uh, Ruby Falls right now to meet up with Courtney. The ceremony is going to be at 10 a.m. And I'm not sure exactly where. And the truck isn't ready to go, so we're in the van. So we're not going to be able to go down the actual trails, the Ruby Falls Trail. Instead, we're going to have to park at the trailhead and uh, get a shuttle in. So we're going to head out find a place to camp for the night and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna go do this wedding I didn't really know it at the time, but this trip would end up being the end of a story and the beginning of a story. You already know that I was on my way out here to do a wedding for Jordana and Brett, but what you don't know is that this would actually be the last trip that I would take with my Zeus. Um, only a few, a day and a few hours after the video you're watching was shot, Zeus's um, state deteriorated rapidly uh, until while editing the last video I made, he ended up um, showing a lot of signs of serious discomfort and we were forced to bring him into the emergency and say our final goodbyes. Zeus. Um, Zeus has been a part of my life through every major life decision I've made in the last 13 years. He's the dog that really grew through my adult years with me and I can't say enough good things about him. He was a dog that no matter what 
always wanted to be around regardless of what role he played he just wanted to be present uh, with people that loved him he was a massive fan of affection and would relish at any opportunity to cuddle or be cuddled by someone he was the best adventure dog I think I have ever seen on any channel in any way he was loyal trustworthy and above all a very good boy and he will be missed greatly so Zeus I love you buddy you're a good bees and hopefully I'll see you again someday morning guys it's uh, Saturday now and we didn't make it up to we did make it up to Fish Lake and now we're gonna hit the 40 and head north but here's the deal <coughs> uh, there is firefighters and smoke everywhere and I don't know if the 40 is gonna be passable all the way up so we're gonna go as far as we can if we encounter too much smoke or or a fire, then we'll reassess. But yeah, early. So there was a heavy, heavy possibility that we were going to run into some fire detours here. Uh, later on in the day, we did end up getting the rain that we drastically needed in this part of the uh, the province so it did end up getting a little bit of damp weather out there thankfully um, but we really didn't have much time to do any exploring obviously we're here for a reason and in no time at all about an hour and a half actually we were uh, on the trail into Ruby Falls where we we're gonna meet up with the bride and groom and get this uh, wedding underway So I obviously want to give a very special shout out to Brent and Jordana um, for allowing me obviously to facilitate their wedding. When I was approached by them last year at the AOA Expo, they said, they, hey, they want, we want to get married um, out in the boondocks kind of thing. And I thought that was super cool. And they asked me if I could. And uh, I said yes. So this is Brent just shuttling us across the water crossing um, and then uh, getting Courtney over there as well so that we can get the wedding underway. It was a quick wedding um, by all accounts, but also by all accounts, it was very intimate. Um, and we did have some absolutely beautiful weather to work with. And I couldn't have imagined a better way to, uh, to spend the day out here in the beautiful West country watching two people start a new story together. So congratulations again to Brent and Jordana. Um, I hope it was everything that you guys hoped it would be. That's just the natural, you know, you know, but yeah, we don't have to. Oh, no. Peace. Peace. All right, it's now uh, one o'clock. And we're about 45 minutes an hour down the road. Just stopped at this really, really beautiful spot here on the Brazo River because uh, I am feeling a little hungry. 
But all things being equal, I probably should have just stayed for lunch with the crew. But uh, I did find a cool, a beautiful spot for lunch. So I think we're gonna boil a couple eggs and uh, or fry a couple eggs even, just make ourselves an egg sandwich. Maybe do a little bit of dangling in the water here on the Brazo. And uh, we're testing out some new kit. Today we got the Blind Man Overland folding table for the back of the van. And we got Mr. Z. Hey, big guy. Chilling out in the van. Yeah. What do you say, Zeus? I know you're tired. I know you're in sore too. Tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll go see the doctor this week, okay? Yeah. See how he's, he's always licking down there and you've got blood marks all over the blankets and I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's not easy. But yeah, I'm going to throw a couple eggs on the stove here. We've got a single burner here and a sink. So we're just going to grab some pots from underneath, fill them up there and make some eggs. One more minute. Mm. What do you think, Beads? Hmm. So, it's a pretty good possibility that this will be. Our last trip with Mr. Zeus behind me here. And I have been pretty, maybe not nervous, but I consider not showing it on this channel. 
But because so many of you know me, and so many of you have met Zeus, I guess it just didn't feel right to not let people know. And uh, to be honest, it's still really hard to wrap my head around it because he's still very much himself. He just can't do an incredibly important bodily function. So, yeah. Mm. I have had 13 amazing years with him. I raised him from a puppy. He has been there with me through every major life decision I've made. Ever since buying the house. And so... I can't be greedy. 13 years out of a dog that has a 15 year life expectancy without any major health concerns or health issues until the last days, at least. I need to learn to be grateful for what I got. All right guys, lunch is done. And now we must leave. And uh, if you can, please show some love for Zeus down there in the comments. For those that know him, you're welcome to say your goodbyes. But until then, live free, be wild, and we will see you on the next one.